We want to tag more of those guys to track how they're growing. There's one. Got him. We're gonna come right behind the, the back part of the little dorsal fin right there. And there you go. Thirteen and a half inches. I wonder where he came. His teeth are sharp. Wow, his teeth are sharp. What are we doing today, Chris? Tagging. We're tagging fish. We're taking the tagger. We're tagging fish. So, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brett, run bee fishing. This is Chris. He's the all American and fishes pretty much everywhere with me. What we're doing today is we are taking that tagging gun and we are at the pond with the Dink Express and Chris's butt right there. Chris, I was picking your butt. My finger was literally in your butt. I don't really, I didn't really like it either. I didn't like the way it made me feel. Anyway, we are back at the boat and uh, at the pond. So what we're doing is me and Chris have worked really hard the last year on this pond. And one of the things we started doing last year was tagging fish. So we placed the little tag gun um, in the fish. We place a tag in them. It's got a number. When we re-catch the fish, we log their growth. So what we're doing today is we've had a lot of new fish that are in the pond that you know were hatched last year, too small to catch, and now we're able to catch them. We want to tag more of those guys to track how they're growing. This is a great way to let us know, do we need more forage? Do we have too many bass? Are they stunted growth-wise? Um, it's just a really good practice, a really good kind of sciencey thing, honestly, to just watch how this ecosystem is, is going. So Chris. Yes, sir. You ready to do it? Let's do it. You ready to get in the boat? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, All right. go. Let's, let's go. try to tag at least four to five fish. Um, after that, we could probably wrap the video up. I think four to five is really what we need. Then we're gonna do jazz hands. Yep, jazz hands. So if you guys don't know, if you're new to the channel, this is the pond. We've got several fish in here we've transplanted from other places, and then we've got fish that are in here that are kind of stunted as far as growth. The fish here last year when we were measuring were all about 10 inches long and about 10 ounces. We've added some bluegill, we've added some more baby bass, they've already gone through their spawn. And we like doing this this time of year after they're spawned out, mainly for the fact that, well, they're spawned out, they're at their smallest they're going to be for the year, and we want to see if they continue to grow, both length and weight make sure we're doing the right things because we're actually talking about this year you're wanting to add what to the pond uh i want to put some tilapia in here yep and hopefully i can get some thread tin shad so that's the plan as far as like you know actual stuff that the bass can eat we're looking at thread fin shad like chris said tilapia i'm also looking at potentially putting in some more crawfish um, i think the crawfish are probably going to need to be like a yearly thing potentially, at least for a couple of years to get them really going in here. So those are the, the, the forage we want to put in here. But before we do that, we want to get a measurement on the fish, make sure they're growing. And um, yeah, let's just start catching fish. Let's do it. it does not matter how we're going to catch them. This is not a challenge video in any way. We're just trying to catch as many as possible. I already see what Chris is going for. It's what I was going to go for. The bite this morning, we were filming another video this morning. The bite was a little slow, and uh, I think he's right on the money with uh, going drop shot, because that's what I was going to go with as well. All right. Oh, there's one. Got him. It's like a little decent fish. Yeah, he's a pretty good little fish. On that red worm, he is not tagged, it doesn't look like. So weed. First victim. Yes. Right at about 15. 13. Oh, 13. Yeah, you're right. It, it's not going this way, it goes that way. That's right. 13 inches. 0.95. Almost a pounder. Give him a little stick here. Now, if y'all have never seen this, this is what it looks like. So we're gonna come right behind the, the back part of the little dorsal fin right there. Just gonna give him a little bit, of, little bit of stick right there in the meat. 
And there you go. He is 1042. 1042. 13 and a half inches and wasn't tagged, or 13 and a quarter inches. He wasn't tagged, which means he was probably one of last year's fish that's gotten bigger. He's gone. What is the deal with the overcastness today? I really thought we were supposed to have the sun peek out. Like for real, for real. Not that fake for real, but you know the for real, for real. little stinker i mean a little stinker all right this one may be a problem no no he does he does actually measure so i was about to say he may be a problem because we, we he may not even measure but he is 10 inches exactly Point four. if he's 0. 0.4 that'd be less than eight be like six six ounces maybe so this guy is like 43. He's 0.4 pounds, about six ounces, 10.43, 10 inches, a little bitty guy. So hopefully we can catch him again and watch him grow. That's the name of the game right here. 10.43, 10 inches, about six ounces. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Got him another one. He's a size that we can definitely measure here. Okay. 0.6 ounces. And he's going to be 11 and a quarter inches. Give him a little stick here. Actually, I don't know why, but I want to do it on this side. There we go. Ten forty four. Ten forty four. So 0. 0.6 pounds, eleven and a quarter, ten forty four. Back in the water. Yeah, he went dancing. Fish. Got him. Spot. Under the spotter bass. And he's already tagged. So we don't have to tag him. We can actually uh, just weigh him and measure him. Yeah. Yep. How about that? A spotted bass. What do you say? 13, almost 13 and a half. Yeah, definitely 13. I'm going to say 13 and a half. Yep. 13 and a half. 13 and a half inches. I wonder where he came from. His teeth are sharp. Wow, his teeth are sharp. 0.85. So just 0.15 off of a pound. Let's see if I can clean his tag off. We'll see what number he is. 1009. Well, wow, he's one of the first ones we put in here then. 1009. Yeah. Ooh, he's got. Did you feel his teeth? Yeah. He's yeah. got some sharp little teeth. Talk about talk about to eat you with. Talk about ripping lips and uh, getting sandpaper thumb. This guy will do it right here. I had no idea our spots were gonna, woof, he was ready. He was ready. I had no idea our spots were gonna live that well, but we've caught two spots in the last last couple times we've been out here. And that spot tore my thumb up. I was doing good till I got that spot. That spot had some sharp teeth. That's fish. That's a fish stick right there. He barely makes it. He's gonna be nine and a half. Point four. Ten forty-five. All right. So we've tagged four fish. We've caught five fish. Told you my little dragon drop had at least one more in him. Again, I'm just proving people wrong. Now it's not people on my channel. 
the folks on this channel know that the Guggen baits are really good, but there are other folks that think the Guggen baits are just cheap. They don't last on the hook very long. How many fish have I caught on this thing? I actually had it tied on before I got here. I don't know how many I caught on it before. I must say at least one. I actually know two. I was with Brandon. I caught two fish with Brandon on it. And I never changed it out. So that's two fish plus four today. That's six fish on a pretty soft plastic. I'm Dragon drops or drop shots really. Any kind of drop shot bait, you want it to be a, a pretty soft plastic. Like it's gotta be really, really soft as far as the consistency. And you see you get that tail wiggle get that little shimmy it's got on it this thing's been put through the ringer today and it's it's still going strong fish is he yeah we got another tagged fish all right that is now like six fish on the guggen baits and i think i could even catch another one but i think we're going to run out of time Let's get a measurement on this guy. He's already tagged. He's going to be just over, I mean, just a barely a tick over 10 inches. Yeah, no, I am going to say 10 and a quarter. Once I lay him on here right, he's 10 and a quarter. 45. All right. 10, 21, 10 and a quarter inches. And 0.45. Little stinker, he's thick though, looks healthy. He could be stunted, he could be one of the fish that's stunted, but if not, he's at least thick. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. We were able to get four or five fish tagged. So we, we got a pretty good bit tagged, and we even caught some that were already tagged. Now, if I was a decent person, YouTuber type person, but I'm, I, I hope I'm a decent person, but if I uh, am actually able to find the Excel file somewhere on the computer, I'll put it in the description where those fish were the last time we caught them uh, that were already tagged and where they are now um, and let you guys sort of get an idea, a peek at what we're seeing as well. Whether those fish are growing, they're stunted, they're losing weight, what's going on, you know what I mean? Get some of these rods, sorry, I'm, I'm hitting Chris with my the rods. Did, are you, did you just say I poked you in the butt with my rod? That's not good. Okay, got him, got him. So anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, y'all know what to do. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit the uh, comments on what you think of uh, the little project we got going here with these fish. If you have any recommendations after you've seen the description on what you would do, if this was your pond, you're seeing the growth rates we're seeing, get in the comments, let us know. Um, because, I mean, we're kind of novice at this. We know what basics need to happen, basically needs to happen, um, but we don't know all the ins and outs. We're not biologists here. And as always, hit the red subscribe button, turn it from red to gray. Hit the ding dong notification so you'll be notified anytime we drop a new video. Oh, Chris has already moved my stuff. All right, well that, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm rambling, I'm rambling hardcore. Later.